All right, what's up everyone? Uh, so, I was cleaning my shop today and I found a ton of stuff that I kind of forgot I had. And I was kind of putting stuff together and I figured why not just put something together? So, uh, we're going to kind of do this... Uh, I'm going to try and do this uh, a, a one take deal. So, uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy it. And uh, let me show you guys what I found. Um, so, and I'll kind of show you what, what, what I'm going to do today. Uh, so, I found this neck. Uh, it's really nice. It's WD Music neck. Licensed by Fender, so it's a Fender spec neck. Um, it's it's nice. I like it. Uh, it looks good. Um, so I thought, well, I should put it to use and let it instead of letting it sit on the shelf. Uh, I've got this beat up old Strat style body. It's really lightweight though. It's like super lightweight. Um, it was one that I was testing out the whole relic thing on. I hate that term, but, uh, we'll call it road worn. But, so, I mean, it's got some chipping and stuff. It was, uh, something that I, I believe I bought from the, uh, guitar fetish, like, factory buyout section. So it was, like, super cheap. I think I got it for, like, 20 bucks, something like that. Not very much. But, uh. Yeah, not, not a bad body. We'll use it. Uh, I found a pick guard. And then I was going through and I found this pickup that I got out of an Epiphone Les Paul. Um, which is actually sitting over there on the screen. But uh, I don't know... If it's an original, like, Epiphone pickup, I have no clue what it is. Um, it does say 9.85K on the back, um, but it's really old. The, uh, chrome plating's worn off. But, instead of just letting it sit and rot, might as well use it, right? Um, uh, I found, uh, a set of clues and tuners. Um, uh, not sure what, which tuners they are, but they look nice. Um, found a, also a Cluson bridge. Uh, found a beat up old neck plate that we'll use. Found a claw, found some springs, found some screws. Found a random input jack. So... I figure, like I said, instead of letting this stuff sit and not be used, let's put it together. So what I did is I uh, went over to the copy machine and uh, like in one of my previous videos, I made myself a copy of the heel. So one to one copy. So now it, it is a template I took and I poked the holes out so that when I set it down into my neck pocket because this neck already had holes drilled for it but the body did not made me a template so let's go ahead and grab me a drill real quick Start some holes here. So now we've got some holes to put our neck on. Grab this whole dirty 
pick up her uh, neck plate here. being kind of beat up and stuff I'm not really looking for perfection on the fit of the neck plate as long as the screws go in straight Of course my drill's got to die, so we'll do it the old fashioned way, by hand. out I got the drills or the holes drilled but I want to make sure that the body stays real close so I'm gonna grab a clamp probably an oversized one So next up, let's go ahead and put these tuning machines on. I believe at one point these things were already uh, on this neck, but I don't remember for sure. But it looks like it. The holes match up. Whoa, all blurry. Alright, unblurry. Happens a lot. So, while I'm doing this, I'm 
don't know if you guys can see right there, but there is a white Telecaster that I'm working on. Or I guess a white Tele style guitar that I'm working on. Again, it was one of these uh, shop cleanups and I found a whole bunch of parts and uh, had a friend ask me, you know, hey, I need a, need a cheap telly, where can I get one? I said, uh, me, duh. So, uh, working on that for him and I uh, carved the, the uh, Wayland Jennings Flying F logo into the arm contour. That's not really a contour. And uh, posted it on the old Instagram and uh, had the official Waylon Jennings Instagram page share it in their story, which I thought was really cool, being that I'm a huge Waylon Jennings fan. And he got the flying F or flying W tattoo on me. Waylon Jennings has uh, been a big part of. Me growing up, my dad actually wanted to name me Waymore when I was born. But mom got to say no to that one. So as I'm doing this, I realize I don't have any strings to, to string this up. So I think what we're going to do is get it all basically set up ready for strings. And I'm going to have to order some because my son's guitar needs strings too. Probably gonna have to order quite a few. Let me show you guys a trick real quick because uh, I need to do it myself, anyways. So, if you've got a screwdriver that's not really magnetic, doesn't really pick up the screws. Um, these little magnets work great. You just stick it on the end there. And now your screwdriver is magnetized. I got a pack of like 20 of these little magnets from Amazon years ago. I don't, I don't remember how much they were because it's been a really long time. But they work great. I use them to hang up different tools on my workbench. I've seen Ben Crow use them a lot for uh, control panels. They're pretty, uh, pretty, pretty useful. So I think what we're going to do is basically get this together just to kind of show you what it's going to look like. And I will come back and do the wiring and all that good stuff.
because I am So I don't really have any pick guard screws, but this guitar isn't really, uh, like I said, an exquisite looking instrument. So I'm just gonna use these uh, Home Depot little screws and just screw this thing down. You out there saying, oh, you should put travel poles in. You're probably right. But guess what? I'm not going to. Or am I? I guess I have to. I like the uh, big old industrial screws. Like the guitar, huh? Not too bad. that I found. I only found three. So I'm going to put three in for now until I can order some more.
time to go. It is a guitar. So, I just wanted to do this uh, this video because it's um, you don't really need a whole lot of money to build something that'll make noise, um, something that you can play and beat around on and have fun. And I, I just kind of wanted to show that. So I will be back as soon as I have some strings and I have, uh, once I get the strings, I will go ahead and put, um, I'll wire it all up and we will play it. See what it sounds like. But not bad. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, it, like I said, it's not great. It's not perfect, but that's kind of what I was going for. That's kind of what I wanted. I wanted something that wasn't perfect and wasn't great, wasn't pretty. But uh, I might change out this neck plate because uh, it's too big for our holes. So I might change it out and just throw some washers on it just so that there's uh at least something there but again that's just because it's meant to be a beat up old kind of frankenstein guitar so like i said let me know what you guys think in the comments um i know this one is a little different a little weird but uh got a guitar built in about half an hour out of random parts so uh until next time guys uh like i said thanks for tuning in thanks for watching uh, keep building keep having fun and i'll see you guys next time